Okay, so here is our rolling cart. All the VEX hardware and most of the VEX small parts are on this cart now. And this, and this depends on your school and what the current system is. This may not be for you. This may not be what we have in right now. So ask your VEX coach. Ask someone experienced in VEX what our organization system is. So right now we have uh, we have a series of screws. We have some small screws up to bigger screws and bigger and bigger and bigger as they go down. A lot of these aren't sorted, but we want everyone to try their hardest to keep everything organized as best as they can. Okay, so if you see a couple things in the wrong location, try to organize them. We're going to try to get labels on here eventually, but this may change. So please just ask what your system is and help keep up with it. Because if everyone helps, then we can keep it cleaner and everybody can get their project done faster and with less struggle. And then here we have our like uh, caps nuts, lock nuts, collars, washers, standoff, different sizes, half inch, one inch, two inch, three inch, etc. And then down here we also have some more screws, small washers, large washers, the uh, nylon washers, some couplers, some more couplers, collars. Here's some linear slide stuff, etc., etc. Some bearing blocks, some pop rivets. So these pop rivets go with the bearing blocks. We want to show that later, but most people don't know how to use these. So uh, these work with the pop rivets, and you can also use screws with those. But we'll get to that later. And then, etc., etc. There's some wheels down here. Um, some more. Uh, rock and pinion stuff. There's some old three wire motors down there. And then down at the bottom there are some linear slides, some batteries. We'll get into the battery stuff in a little bit. Then on the other side here, we have some of the gears. We have small gears. So there's some 36, some 60 tooth. Here's some little wheel flaps. Here's some of the weak chain brackets, some of the uh, standard gears, there's 72 tooth, um, and there we have some worm gears, some smaller uh, 12 tooth gears, some metal 12 tooth gears, here's some of the worm gear stuff, 30, uh, 36 tooth gear, 60, 60, a whole bunch of these 60, so these guys um, are thinner than these guys as you can see so we have a lot of these but not as many of those so just keep that in mind for when you're designing your product and then some more weak chains some specialized gears we don't use that very often some high strength sprockets some more sprockets and then down here is kind of like more of the parts so here are some of the um, uh, internal gearing for the 393 motors. So all those are here. Make sure you get the right set and everything. So that'll be explained in a later video as well. Here's some VEX keys. We'll be getting some more VEX keys and organizing those. Some zip ties. Here's uh, all our different um, bolt or uh, Allen wrenches. So there's the wrenches. Some different Allen wrenches. There's the VEX Allen wrenches some motor controllers, some more wrenches. Here's some uh, uh, high strength motors with some encoders on them. There's an axle bin. So all of this will probably be changed at some point, but everything here can come off. So if you need a whole bunch of these, you can grab that real quick. But this is all community stuff. So if you want to borrow something, Please just come say, I need a few uh, cat's nuts, grab a few, grab a couple screws, go to your table, work on your robot when you're done, bring everything back and try to put it in the best place you can, okay? So the, the hardest thing is going to be trying to get all the screws in the right bins. But if everyone gives that a good try, I think we can keep up with it. And that's the biggest problem we've always had with VEX is that the organization and everything. 
but don't hoard anything, okay? Nothing here needs to be hoarded. Grab a few screws, grab a few nuts, etc. A couple spacers, but we have a very limited supply for a lot of teams. So please don't take anything and keep it in your box or your toolkit or whatever. Please just grab what you need and return it as soon as you're done. Because if we don't want to take anything from anyone else, everything must be open. All right. So that's our rolling cart. It will roll around. Um, so we can pull this out whenever we need it. We can um, grab bins as we need it. If, like what we may do is whenever we roll that, maybe we'll end up taking like the cat's nut box and a couple of these boxes and maybe just put them up at the top here so everybody can easily get to those and then whenever we put it back away, we can put them back. But th that all depends on your uh, your current system, saying out what year it is, what, what you guys have implemented, but please ask your coach, ask some experience on how to do all this. Thank you.